Sex education characters. So there was... Shuti Gatwa. Yes. Mm -hmm. And Emma Mackey. And also with Mattel. Oh, what's his name? Connor. Connor, Swindells. Do you know anything? Is Greta Gerwig a fan of sex education? Well, they filmed this in Leavesden. Uh, so yeah and it was over covid so people couldn't travel because um timothy chalamet actually was meant to have a cameo so was sasha ronan uh, but oh. they couldn't because of something to do with travel or whatever but that's why there's a lot of british actors in this justice for amy Lee wood sorry i know she would that's be a the great bar- barbie. that's a great barbie um, for her. also emerald fennell yeah. as pregnant, pregnant barbie, barbie. Yeah. what was her name Midge. 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 I didn't realise that until the second time watching it. Yeah. And I was like, huh? <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> Wait, who is it that's like gets really scared by it? Oh, it's Will Ferrell. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, oh. <laughs> 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 You're just creepy. Wrong. There's so many great cameos in this film. Yeah, it is good. Um, I, I absolutely love Jamie Demetrio, who plays yeah. his, um, Will Ferrell's little sidekick, the like nervous one. He's he's in Satellite's flats. He's so oh, funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so funny. And Rob Brydon's in it for like three seconds. Yeah. <laughs> it's really a special film. Yeah. What other cameos were spectacular? I mean, <laughs> I really love John Cena as a mermaid. Like, yeah. I still think that's brilliant. That's so funny, though. I hadn't re- really put two and two together with most of those cameos being British people, mm. British, British actors or not even actors. Yeah. And love that for the Brits. Yeah. <laughs> I win. think yeah. if anybody was asked to be in this film, if they were available, I feel like it would be uh, <laughs> yes. Oh, well, that's the tea. Like, didn't um, uh, uh, Michael Sarah's agent kind of be like, we don't know if you're really going to be into this. Um, Because it's a small role. Because it's a small... Because he played Alan. Yeah. Yeah. Alan. And he's like, it's kind of a small role and, like, I'm not sure if it's really your thing. And then he read it and was like, oh, my God, I have to do this. I heard that he'd, like, phone... Like, he asked for the role. Like... Oh. Am I thinking of a different one? Anyway, he was keen either way. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. The the crux of it is that he wanted to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he did. Ryan Gosling was on the first choice. They offered to, or rather, maybe they were just in conversation with Dan Levy oh. and Ben Platt. Dan Levy oh. absolutely can see. I guess his hair reminds me of Ken. I actually can't even think who this is. Ben oh, Platt. Oh, um, Theatre Camp. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh. Mm. No. Yeah. I can see it. It would be a, so, it would be a totally different film. It would be, like, way more um, musical theatre. Mm. I mean, this was pretty musical theatre, actually. Yeah, I don't know. I think because mm. Ryan Gosling is still kind of cool, mm. that... <laughs> no, that's so <laughs> true. Oh, no, 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 that, that is true, though. I think because he is cool and it, it's, it's like he's playing such a drastically different character to yeah. himself. Where it's like, it just doesn't feel like that if it was yeah. Ben. yeah. Or who would did you say the other person Dan was? Levy. Dan Levy, yeah. Yeah, it's still, like, not... <laughs> I don't know, there's still not that, like, drastic... Like, you just haven't seen him in that different character as well. I you have, but yeah. It's like a different movie, really. It's a different it's movie. Different movie. Oh, it always is with the cast and choices. Mm. 